Cyborg time. <laughs> the biohacking is augmenting the human body. I've probably gone from doing one a month to almost one a day. I do feel a little bit nervous about this, but I think it's because it's something new. I think the needle will be bigger than piercing size. So yeah, it's quite big. Don't think about what happens next time. Nice deep breath in for me. I'm just gonna bring the towel down to your waist. I would say I'm a fairly alternative person. So what do you have planned for the rest of the day? Um, well, after working with you, I'm actually off to get a microchip in my hand, oh, wow. <laughs> which is quite exciting. There are many benefits to it that I feel like may help in my life now. I'll be able to store business cards, contact information, or be able to pull up my website really quickly if somebody else scan their phone over it. So biohacking is a term used to explain augmenting the human body using technology that we implant under the skin to better interact with the world around us. I think I've always been fascinated with tech and futurism and interesting ways that we can upgrade ourselves. Today we're going to be implanting some microchips and looking at ways that we can program those. So it's like a long grain of rice. This is bioglass so it's very very tough material. To be honest you'd be more likely to break several bones in your hand than break this chip. I've probably gone from doing say one a month to almost one a day. So it's a pretty big increase in the number of people that are interested in this now. The youngest I do them is 18. The oldest I've done, I think she was 62. And it was because her daughter had had one as well. She was really excited about it and she got one done on the same day. I think in the future we'll see this being a core part of our day-to-day -day life. Similar to how quickly mobile phones were integrated into our society, we don't really think too much about the invasiveness of that now. I'm a little bit scared about the pain. This needle is definitely bigger than, than any of the piercing needles I've, I've had so far. <laughs> cool, excellent, come on through. Thank you. Fantastic. Can I take a seat? Yeah, just take a seat. If my skin was to reject it for whatever reason, that would be, that'd be a bit crappy. It doesn't need to travel too far, just enough that it can't back out of the hole we're about to make. So okay. it's only going to go, it's about a centimetre and a half under your skin. The needle's quite big and scary, mm -hmm. but it's not going that far in. So okay. all good. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> nice and loose, you don't need to focus on controlling your hand now. So kind of let everything go a bit floppy and just now officially a cyborg. <laughs> That's really exciting. I think it's a very, very small step on the way to becoming a cyborg. Cool, a protein NFC tag. Now you've got like that raised area. You might have to gently give it a little bit of a push down into the skin as long as that's not too uncomfortable. Oh, 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 hey! Homepage of our website. Amazing. One of the other things you can put on is a, an excellent porn hub link of your choice. And then when someone goes onto it, it immediately loads up. If they haven't turned their media volume down, it auto plays. It's fantastic. Oh, I'm so doing that. in disguise. <laughs> this chip is bridging the gap between cyborg technology and everyday life technology. Take care, guys. Bye. The one thing that does concern me in the future is people forcing other people to have a chip, like for work, for example. People should always be able to have that choice. If you don't want to get one, that's absolutely fine. But those of us that do, let's have some fun with it and see what it can do. Being at the forefront of this is quite exciting.